Welcome back to the final segment of LPD Journal. Well, school's out and kids are certainly enjoying their freedom for the summer. But summer can cause many challenges with personal safety. In this month's LPD Kids Patrol, Officer Don Nutz has his top 10 summer safety tips. I'm McGruff the Crime Dog, and this is LPD's Kids Patrol. Hey there everyone, I'm Officer Don Nuts with the Lakeville Puppet Security here for LPD's Kids Patrol. And this month, we're gonna give you the top 10 summer safety tips to keep you safe this summer. So let's start out with number 10, this way. <laughs> here I go! Oh, sliding down the rails. <laughs> hey, number 10, bites and stings. If you're planning to spend time outside, that means you need to spray yourself and your kids with insect repellent. Now the repellents don't kill insects, but they help reduce bites from mosquitoes, ticks, fleas, and other bothersome bugs. Here we go, sliding down some more. Actually, I'm gonna slide up. Whoa! Number nine, ticks! Outdoorsy types aren't the only one that need to worry about ticks from April through October. You could pick one up in your own yard while gardening or playing outside. You should do a tick check on everyone in the family every night. You can check under the arms, between the legs, around the waist, inside the navel, and don't forget the hairline and scalp. Yeah. Number eight, pool safety. Hey, they don't hang those no running signs poolside for decorations. Did you know in 2006, more than 3,000 kids younger than five years old were injured in near drowning incidents? And every year, more than 800 kids ages 14 and younger die due to unintentional drowning. It should go without saying, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Never leave kids alone near the pool, no matter what their ages or swimming capabilities are. Parents can and should take precautions around their home pools in addition to closely supervising kids while they swim. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Number seven, playground safety. Did you know most playground injuries, as many as 76% happen on playgrounds, at schools, daycares, or at your local parks? More than 200,000 kids visit emergency rooms with playground-related injuries every year. Many of these injuries could have been prevented with a little precaution and adult supervision. Check the playground equipment before letting kids play on it. Number six, safe rides. Whether or not you wore a helmet while riding your bike as a child, it's a must for kids these days. Nearly 300,000 kids make a visit to the emergency room every year with bike-related injuries, some resulting in death or severe brain injury. Wearing a helmet can help reduce your child's risk of making such a visit. Number five, poison ivy. Poison ivy, as well as poison oak and sumac, contain an oil which, when it comes in contact with the skin, causes an allergic reaction in about 85% of the population. The only way to avoid developing the rash is to avoid contact with these poisonous plants. By wearing clothing that covers a good amount of skin, this will help reduce your risk. Number four, food poisoning. Now summertime offers so many gorgeous days for picnicking and cookouts, but don't let the heat ruin your outing. Foodborne illnesses are caused by bacteria, viruses, parasites, and other toxins. Foodborne illnesses look a lot like the flu and typically include nausea, stomach cramps, vomiting, and diarrhea. If you're traveling with food, be sure to pack any raw meat separately from ready-to-eat foods to avoid contamination. Yeah. Number three. Heat-related illnesses. Did you know that the Center for Disease Control estimates that about 400 people die every year from heat-related illnesses? Staying hydrated in hot weather can help reduce the risk 
of heat-related illnesses. You should try to stay in a shady or air-conditioned location during the hottest parts of the afternoon. Phew, my shell's sweating. <laughs> Number two, hydration. Did you know that if you're feeling thirsty, you're already mildly dehydrated? Relying on thirst as a reminder to take a drink leaves you at risk for dehydration. Help kids avoid becoming dehydrated by reminding them to drink often throughout the day. And the number one thing you need to do to stay safe this summer is <gasps> avoid getting sunburn. Yeah, did you know sunscreen should be applied every two hours and after swimming or vigorous activity? Regardless of age and skin type, you need to apply a water-resistant sunscreen that protects against both UVA and UVB rays every day of the year. Hey, we got through our top 10 list. <laughs> hey, everyone, this is Officer Don Nuts with the Lakeville Puppet Security for this month's LPD's Kids Patrol. Stay safe, folks. Hey!